opening ceremony protocol for the conference was all about our ability as Kane, as Hawaiian, to express through traditional cultural practice, through olelo, through oli, hula, ha'a, and other customary rituals and practices as a means of reconnecting to our kupuna. It gives us sort of the inspiration or the starting point to reconnect, revive, and even move forward to progress for our lahui. Ahakane is about bonding with other kane, uh, gaining from their experience, strength, and hope for those who have struggled and challenged, taking that message, bringing it back here, sharing it with each other, but also most importantly, passing on that mo'olelo to the younger generation so they learn from those experiences. The basic intent is for the kane to take care of himself so he can take care of his family, so he can extend it out and take care of his community. It's building men and building them to be productive, meaningful partners in their homes and in their communities. And using the Hawaiian culture as the medium to accomplish this makes it even more meaningful. No matter which presentation you go into, it has application. Look at the health screening. The amount of guys that are in there, they heard, they listened. I gotta take care of myself. This is a bowl of cereal. Taro, ulu, sweet potato. It's all within the same category of complex carbohydrate. Oh, wow. There is nothing that we cannot do as far as healing the body. When you crack open the nut, the nut cleaning, purging, building, cleansing the blood. The law has a purpose of that. After you make the connection, the hardest part is to walk the walk. The reward in the end is going to benefit the children. Each and every one of us contains the DNA of our ancestors. They're going to guide you. Go out in a field, kanu. That's your ike. If you don't exercise it, it's not going to come out. All of these things work well together. And with that full understanding, then it brought in the perspective of individuals. I'll be honest with you, I'm still learning. These tools are still teaching me. A good fight, three to five seconds. Turning up the head like this. <laughs> there is room for lua in the world, even with hula. There is room for lavaia, for farming, for every aspect of our culture. You see, walk around the arts, the crafts, the knowledge, the genealogy, the everything. There is room for that. There's a wealth of research background that has tried to solve uh, a lot of problems facing our people from a Western mindset. Ahakane is about looking to our foundation as native peoples and beginning to solve it from a Kanaka Hawaiian perspective. How do I know our kupuna understood that the world was round? How do I know our kupuna knew such a things as the equator? and the Tropic of Kansai, look at our mo'olelo, kapiko o wakea, keala polo hiva nui akane, keala polo hiva nui o kanaloa. Our kupuna had names for these places. These are the connections that we need to make to the land, to the ocean, to each other, to the heavens. That's the emotional well-being we talk about, but the process of reconnecting becomes the, the healing process for the, the mind, the body, and the spirit. That becomes sort of the mana, the maunu, the bait that triggers the interest in the kane and begins to help them on that path of renewed self-consciousness as a Hawaiian person. Yeah. We as a people, uh, um, I think we're driven now. 
and removing things. You know, it's a it's a perpetual motion sort of thing that that yeah we're we're a part of it and things, but it's bigger than all of us. It's not about us. It's not about our county. It's about us as a people, and I think everybody's uh, spirit and their their own connection to their own kupuna is making it happen. How are you going to answer to your ancestors when it's time for all of us to meet them? Will they be happy with what you've done? When you look at someone like Papa Mao Piailu, one of the greatest quotes ever. If I have courage, it's because I have faith in the teachings of my ancestors. Okay, I'll find out.